Hello, good Hello. afternoon. Uh, this is David Sutter talking to you. And today I'd like to talk to you about the issue of repainting. All right. And how to deal with repainting. All right. And uh, I have a lot of people come to me all the time and they ask me to, if my indicators repaint. And the question is yes, uh, all my indicators repaint. And the reason is so that they can adjust the changes in the market conditions. All right. Um, if someone offers you an indicator that does not repaint, I would be very leery and do a lot of investigation on it because um, I've tested many indicators that claim they do not repaint and they either do repaint or um, they give a really bad entry point. <clears throat> All right. So um, with that said, um, I'm going to show you a real simple technique on how you can profit from the repaint and um, <clears throat> let you know that it's really not a bad thing. All right, so um, for example here, all right, I'm going to take this one here at AUD, USD, and uh, what I like to do is actually set all my all my charts to 15 minutes, okay, and you're going to get a lot more repaint on the smaller time frames, uh, usually less than one hour. If you go higher than one hour, like four hour daily, uh, you won't get that much repainting. A little bit on the four hour, but um, hardly none at all on the daily. So with that said, um, if you use a 15 minute chart, even a 30 minute chart like this, um, this the you, you'll get a harmonic pattern that'll come in like say on this candle here, all right, for example, and two candles later, it'll jump up, even three candles later, it'll jump up to here. And um, you know, I don't know the exact percentage, maybe 50%, 40% of these harmonic patterns on the 15 minute chart repaint okay and um but even if say half of them repaint uh you can you know get get this uh strategy down pat and it'll work half the time so what i like to do is uh let's pretend that the harmonic pattern came in right here okay on this candle all right so we know looking back that it repainted two more candles three more candles and then finally stopped repainting and has since you know not really come down it come down some but it shot back up to that same level and look at it's getting ready to come down again there's a 15 minute support here so uh which is a pretty strong support level and it'll probably come down to this level here in the next hour but uh, we don't know for sure but let's pretend for a second that the you know, harmonic pattern came in here had a down arrow and we know it shot up, but what I would do is I would set a pin in order a little bit above this, all right? It'd be a buy stop. And I'm going to draw a line just to kind of show what I mean. All right, draw a line right about here. All right, I would set a buy stop for this point here and then wait. Now, if the uh, price just drops right away, which often it does, you know, uh, you might get half your signal that just automatically drop right away, and the other half of them will shoot up. So if it does continue up, then fine, it'll trip this pin in order, and you can let it go up some, maybe 50, 30, 40, even 50 pips, close the trade, all right, take a small profit, and then wait till you get a candle that no longer uh, is repainting or you know no longer forms a harmonic pattern <clears throat> so in this case this candle here would be the one that did not show a harmonic pattern all right and then I, what I would do is I would place another pin order which would be a sell stop in this case about 50 you know maybe 60 pips below the current price you know and uh maybe where's your line is or a little bit below you don't have to be exact but you know set a pin in order a little ways below and then wait all right for the trip and then um take another small profit on that one as well now on these 15 minute charts uh you're only looking to get about maybe 50 pips profit per trade which is excellent okay because you're going to get a lot of these trades all right 
and every 15 minutes you're gonna be getting a signal all right you might get two or three patterns every 15 minutes <clears throat> so if you have all your currency pairs open <clears throat> and you're running a 15 minute chart you know in a matter of a few hours you know you can get maybe you know 10 12 signals that you can take <clears throat> easy so <clears throat> basically that's my strategy um very very simple okay you want to place a pin order above or below depending if you're doing a buy or sell <clears throat> and you know basically in the opposite direction okay if you're trying to do a sell and you have a down arrow you want to trace place the you know pin order above or if you're trying to do a buy and you want the um you think you know you think the signal is going to go up but it doesn't you want to place a a a sell stop below <clears throat> and that sell stop will activate and you take a small profit and then wait for it to go back up again and do another pin order <clears throat> so that's in a nutshell that's how i do it it's very very simple um you know i want you to please test this on demo before you do a live account and you know maybe do 50 trades 100 trades whatever you feel comfortable with until you get a good feeling for this and you see that it's working for you okay <clears throat> um also um if this strategy doesn't work for you um please uh either leave it a comment below the video or contact me on facebook i will leave a link in the description of the video where you can contact me and uh, also you can join my facebook group and feel free to leave a comment or question there as well and uh, we can have a discussion on this and um you know talk about more detail and just uh kind of let me know how you're doing with it and how i can help you and maybe maybe there's something I can improve upon or add to this. So uh, with with that said, um, you know, just contact me and let me know. And I wish you the best. And I hope this helps you some. Okay. Um, have a wonderful day. And um, talk to you later. Bye.